Hey guys, welcome back to another crash course on uh, React with Redux. So as of now, we have discussed about uh, Angular, React and Vue.js. So all these three frameworks are actually comes under the front-end development. But something which is lacking in the front-end development and these frameworks is the state management. So the state management is, uh, is such a complicated uh, you know, scenario or approach which uh, I mean, which is highly complicated in the uh, front-end frameworks like React, Angular, and even Vue.js. Okay, so that complex state management can be simplified or can be resolved using a, a Redux pattern or Redux library. Okay, so now first we will discuss how, what is Redux and what is the problem which uh, React is facing without Redux. Okay, so those things and all we'll discuss. And then uh, we'll see what is exactly the Redux pattern, and then we'll see the uh, you know few examples also and React uh, Redux toolkit. Okay, so let's begin the <coughs> codes. So first of all, why we need to have a Redux? So Redux actually solves the state management problem in React JS. Uh, everything is good. Like uh, you can create a component, and you can have a nice interaction between the components, and you can. Uh, you can transfer data between the components and you can fetch data from the server everything is properly ultimately is is is, is good but only thing which is lacking is state management so why exactly this state management I'll, I'll explain in the next slides so state management is the biggest problem not only just in react.js it also a problem in Vue.js as well as in angular applications okay so that is solved by the redux so what is the main approach behind this uh, Redux is it maintains some global state generally what happens uh, for every component will maintain a state right for example in react JS we use use state hook okay so we will maintain for every component one uh, state so instead what Redux says is you have to maintain somewhere the global state I'll tell you why uh, so it also uses few uh, few terminologies like uh, uh, it, it contains store uh, actions reducers dispatcher you selectors like uh, different different new terminologies are there and we'll discuss those terminals also and it is just easy to maintain the application state you can maintain the application state easily but it's quite large uh, you know heavy configuration required but that can be simplified the configuration can be simplified using redux toolkit the newer version of uh, uh, redux library okay so let's see <clears throat> how the uh, state management works okay what exactly the problem which react js is facing so for example so let me do one thing i can take this snap okay i'll explain properly so let me open a paint yeah see for example for example in react js all the components listed like this for example on the top layer you have a app component under that you have uh, some a component b component x y z component and they are in this structure so generally how you maintain the state of your application so as of now what we discuss is every component have its own state for example we use use state hook okay so generally what happens is we will maintain a state uh, its own state b is having its own state x having its own state y having its own state and z having its own state so if a component is having its own state and that particular state data if you want to project on the a component ui it'll be very easy right you can just get from the state and display and even for b its own state it's very easy but when the problem comes into picture is i want to display some other component state data to another component state data for example um, B is having some state okay uh, this particular B state data I want to display in A state I mean A, a component it, it looks generally how components looks like see for example you have a UI so in that uh, you have uh, like this right here is one component here is one component here is one component like that so uh, when you click on a left hand side some links and that particular data will display on the right side right so, so there is some interaction happen between the states right so b state data i want to display in a state so what you have to do is you need to send the state data to the 
next level the parent level to the a and then display uh, here we use uh, uh, you know interaction between the components like child to parent how you can transfer data it is slightly complex task but we can send it okay uh, it is just one level two levels is very easy but just remember if you want to develop a complex application using react there can be hundreds of components and hundreds of components having you know hundreds of levels as well but if you want to transfer for each and every level it will be a complex task for example uh, i have some state in a z okay so this particular state i want to display in b for example this is z and this is b okay so i want to transfer the data from z to b uh, do you see z and b is in connection no so then how can you transfer to the b to display that state data you know the process is the very tedious process you need to transfer to y and then to x and then to app and then to a and then to b then b can have a z's data so this is quite complex process because you need to transfer to each and every level and from there you can display it but here the major problem is see x and y and a and app these are actually not necessary of holding z because if you are transferring to here you need to hold here and then send here you hold here send here hold so unnecessarily the intermediate components are holding your some other's data for example i want to transfer b data to this guy again a to hold is already holding z data now to hold b data unnecessary okay so to avoid these type of uh, problems and it will be like very tedious very complex uh, uh, your your application become mess up okay to have a state management so this type of problem which is already there for even react js angular and vue js okay so this problem is simplified in redux so what redux says is if you see here redux approach is like this so redux have complete state you keep here instead of maintaining the state for every component level you keep it in a global store so if you keep it in a global location so what happen everybody can access the state data so now in this process previously what happened to transfer data from z to b you have to transfer all this way but now in redux what to what what happens same scenario is if you have data in z you don't need to transfer for all the levels because everybody have connected to the global store so what you have to do is you just need to update i mean you just need to update the state data in a global so b can directly access okay so whoever want to access in the entire application can access directly it is like global state location which can be accessed by everyone and and for that matter what exactly the redux store redux store is one file location which contains every components data okay for example a components data maintains here b component data maintains here x component data maintains so complete application data maintains in the redux store okay and that is access for every component so it doesn't matter your application is having n number of levels your application can have n number of levels but still you can easily access and directly you can access it so that's a you know ultimate approach which given by the redux okay so this we gonna uh, understand uh, practically okay now uh, in redux there are certain terminologies are there okay what are the terminologies is uh, if we have something called redux store uh, we have actions reduce uh, dispatch selector like uh, new new terminologies are there and don't worry i'll explain each and every terminology in detail with a practical example so be with me for the end of this video okay so uh, first of all redux store what is the redux store is it maintains a global state I, I showed you right the global store location that is uh, redux store actions action means some commands uh, command means i want to update the state data for example z want to update the state data so it has to send a command hey i need uh, so and so information or uh, i want to update to something else okay i want to change the state data so it's like a commands that can be called as an action and reducer reducer is called as a store manager so he is like a storekeeper or store manager so which is actually responsible for changing state uh, not all the components will change it or oh, there is one rep representative that is called reducer he is responsible for changing your state data 
that is red user and dispatch dispatch is the way how you execute the action is dispatch selector is to access the state data from the store okay so I, I know still you have confusion about this store dispatch action and all the story right i'll tell you a simple example with that you clear it, it clearly understands for you okay that is a shop cake shop example okay so imagine uh, is a regular cake shop example very simple just see if you understand this example nothing is there in redux okay believe see in cake shop this is cake shop so in the cake shop you have lot of cakes available okay in the store we have lot of cakes available and there is one representative cake uh, shopkeeper okay shopkeeper is there to maintain all the cakes in the shop and there is one customer okay so uh, generally how customer buys a cake is now customer comes to the cake shop he comes to the cake shop and says uh, hey i need a cake he i need a so and so cake so what shopkeeper does is he will retrieve the cake and hand over to the customer simple right he ask for a cake and he has given a cake that's it right same story will also happens in redux as well okay so if you see the redux the entire shop is nothing but redux store what this redux store each cake is nothing but each and every components data of your entire application your entire react application every components data maintains in the redux store okay and who is this shopkeeper maintaining all this data is red user okay now you understand right red user is a shopkeeper to maintain all this data okay and thus who is the customer requesting for data is component so now onwards component doesn't have its own data it is there somewhere in the global location if you want to access it you need to ask the red user you want to update it you need to ask the red user for example you have a some simple counter example okay counter increment number decrement number one simple counter is there so what happen uh, uh, previously what happens is the complete state is there inside a component uh, when you click on the button it updates the state in the component only when you decrease the uh, decrement button also decrements the state in the component only but now what happened the entire state is somewhere in the global location so what you have to do so when uh, when you want to display data right you have to request the red user hey give me data i'll display and when you click on increment button ask the red user to update when you click on decrement button ask the red user to update so every activity which is performed from the component to the state between uh, is red user only okay so the way how you can ask the red user to update is action it can be i want to increment the number decrement the number okay like all the things like employee added deleted updated like every kind of action will be taken by the component and that can be updated by the red user and this is access for everybody every component okay every component can access this entire state data so it is very easy even how much complex application you develop how much levels you have each component but still able to access the data so this is the interesting feature and important feature which is given by the redux okay and this redux is not just only for the react js application it is for angular and even for a uh, vue js okay so both i mean all these front end applications are using one pattern that is redux pattern so why i have explained all this scenario is in angular also we have redux and in uh, vue js also we have redux okay so that that's where uh, same same scenario but maybe libraries will be different okay in angular we call as ngrx okay here redux toolkit uh, in react js it is redux toolkit in angular it is uh, ngrx so angular library plus redux and view js it is view x okay is a part of uh, redux as well as some flux architecture together is view x okay so coming videos we'll see uh, ngrx and view x as well now we understand the scenario right okay so to start with redux you need to have few extra packages to be installed in react application that is one is redux toolkit redux and react redux so these three required okay so redux is to have all the scenario like store uh, red user this entire scenario is redux and react redux is the redux library can connect with react application that that uh, the, the bridge library is required that is react redux 
and this toolkit contains tank middleware okay and also the store creation will be easy like lot of uh, you know useful libraries will be added inside the redux toolkit okay so now let's jump in and start uh, you know start understanding practically how redux toolkit works okay let's see that <laughs> 